Working in a consultancy is great. Personally, I work at Becker, which is a multidiscipline consultancy firm. Through my experience at Becker, I've collaborated with many other disciplines built within and outside my company to help deliver projects for clients. This helped me gain a great appreciation of the process required to deliver a project with one of the key recipes for success being collaboration with others. That all being said, what I enjoy most about the consultancy I work for is the people. Working with other, like, with other like-minded individuals who are not only smart, but also pretty funny and approachable has made working never seem like work. One thing I always tell junior staff members is no matter what you do in life, make sure you enjoy it. And having a great group, group of people to work with helps make that possible. The biggest thing I wish I knew more about as a student before heading out into the working world is tips on how to manage a project. In uni, you primarily learn more about the technical aspects of engineering. However, once you start working and gaining experience in your career, you quickly learn that whilst being technical is an important part of the job, being an engineer is so much more. As you progress your career, you become more responsible for a project success, starting from beginning from when you write the scope of works and set the project's budget, through a project's life, managing deliverables and tracking the team's progress to the end of the project, where you send the client the final invoice and reflect on what went well and what could be improved on for the next project. Good project management skills is an important part of being an engineer. Rest assured that even though university might not necessarily teach you these skills, the support structure you get from your seniors once you are in the workforce makes these skills easy to learn. All engineering students should aim to be chartered. It's a marks a significant milestone in your career. For me, I'm in the midst of finalizing my application for chartership, which I'll hopefully submit by the time this says. Anyways, over the past few months while preparing my application, I've been able to reflect on the significant growth and progression I've made in my career through various projects I've been a part of. Not only does chartership provide an opportunity for self-satisfaction, but it also informs the industry that you, as an individual, have made a giant leap in profession, which could open doors for different opportunities as your career progresses. Being chartered also comes with a huge responsibility that you are now a recognized, trusted member of the public within your practice area and are expected to self-regulate yourself to ensure you are behaving ethically in line with the engineering New Zealand guidelines. The best reason I can give for becoming a young engineer member is it provides an opportunity for you to socialize and network like-minded peers and industry leaders within your profession. Over the course of my time as the chair of the Young Engineers of Auckland, we try to make this possible by organizing events ranging from quiz nights all the way to presentations of sustainability and chartership. As you step into the workforce, one thing you quickly learn is that in New Zealand, the engineering community is quite close-knit and everyone sorts of knows everyone here, everybody else. So it doesn't hurt starting early to grow your network and better yet to make friends and to help set you up in the long term within the profession by joining the Young Engineers.